Choco Land returns today on Walking the Candy Isle. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff, and today I have a review for you of another Czech chocolate bar. That's right, I recently reviewed the Kovova chocolate bar, which was a coffee bar um, from Choco Land, and uh, yeah, it was sort of middling. But today I have another one. This is the, it's really hard to read this packaging. It's not a good idea the way they did this dark red on the black. It's, I think it's Castavova, Castanova. Castanova, and this is um, uh, Belgian dark chocolate with a, no, it was dark chocolate with a Belgian hazelnut cream filling. So that sounds pretty good. Uh, as I said last, in my last time I reviewed it, uh, Choco Land Bar, um, that uh, it seems like a pretty good, uh, Czech company, this Choco Land. It looks like the bar got a little re wrecked in transit, but that's okay. This is just like the, it actually looks exactly, the design looks exactly the same as the uh, coffee bar that I recently reviewed. I don't even think it has the same uh, stripes on it. But segmented, like so. So good for sharing, that's kind of nice. Um, and here we've got a dark chocolate on the outside and then inside. It's a cream filling. Let's see what it, uh, a hazelnut cream filling. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Oh, boy. So. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, okay. The dark chocolate's pretty rich. I guess that's my, my main takeaway. The dark chocolate's pretty rich, and the um, hazelnut is good. But it's not creamy enough. <clears throat> Um, the hazelnut's fine, I guess, but I wish this bar was more. This is a nice bar. It's a little rich, especially with the, um, heavy dark chocolate, but it's not like over the top. It's not, you know, you guys have ever had like a... It's not like a, what is it, Ghirardelli, they make a, like a 90% cocoa. Or like Baker's chocolate. It's like, you know, unless you're eating that for like health reasons. Why would you ever eat that just for, for fun? This is not quite there. This is just your sort of standard sort of like 70% dark chocolate. Um, you know, I don't know, I'm guessing that. But um, it's cut... It's cut by the, uh, it's also cut by the, uh, by the hazelnut, which kind of brings it back, tones it back down a bit. But I think I wish the co the hazelnut was, um, I think I wish this was more like a lint product, you know? Like it's similar to that in that it's got a nice, it's, it, it's like a nice pairing of two different flavors, but um, it's just not quite executed as well as I wish it was. Maybe that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's gone. It's fine. It, it, like, it really is pretty good. But um, it had potential to be more? Maybe that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The Casanova seems like a good bar, though. Um, like, I, I wouldn't turn my nose up at it if, if anyone ever offered this to you. But I don't know that you need to go and seek this out. Unless you're, you know, in check or something, then why not? But I feel like if you have other... There are a lot of other options out there for hazelnut chocolate, even hazelnut dark chocolate. There are a few other options out there. So this is certainly not the best of the bunch. Yeah. Okay. Not great. I think that's what I said about the other bar as well, the other Chocolate Land bar. So I guess these are both sort of sitting at around that same level. Um, it's certainly not like a, this is not a brand that you can just, that you want to just write off. Like, 
they've got they've got interesting interesting products, um, and I'd like to try more from them. But uh, I think for now that's all I've got. So, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate the uh, Castanova from Chocoland. I'm going to rate it a three out of five, which I believe is the same store I gave their other chocolate bar. Kind of middling, could be better, um, but uh, certainly could be worse. Definitely a, uh, a, a pretty passable chocolate bar. And that's not quite enough these days, I suppose, when you have things like lint on the shelves sort of everywhere in the world. But, um, but it's something. I imagine, though, honestly, like if you're in check, you can get better chocolate than this <laughs> pretty much anywhere, right? You should be able to get German chocolate or French chocolate or Belgian chocolate or Italian chocolate. I'm just, I, not, to, not to say that... <laughs> You know, but like you're around all the best chocolate in the world. So like not, not to knock the Czech Republic and their chocolate making skills, but, um, you know, there are better options out there, I guess. I guess that's what I'm saying. All right. So that's, that's my take on the Castanova. Nice effort, Chocoland. Land. You know, nothing to be, nothing to be upset about or ashamed with here. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Click the links you see on the screen if you'd like to see more reviews. Thanks for uh, joining me. I'll talk to you next time. So long.